How do you hold a note for that long? You're going to find out by the end of this video. For the best tips and advice on becoming the greatest singer you can be, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Thursday. And if you'd like three fantastic vocal exercises to improve your pitching, your range, and your vocal power, then you can do that right now by signing up to my free training, and the link is right here below. So how do you sing a note for a really, really long time without running out of breath, it going pitchy, it just going wrong. Well, this all depends on, oh, it doesn't depend on, it all relies on your connection, really, with that note. And with that, I mean diaphragmatic control, air control, placement, connection, focus, all of those things. Things sometimes you don't think about. Focusing is is a top one you know yes everything's got to work mechanically but if you're not focused it still could go off a little bit so you've got to work your diaphragm so working on your breath control is probably tip number one work on your breath control now what i mean by that is your breathing technique basically so making sure that when you breathe for singing that you are using diaphragmatic breathe, you know diaphragmatic control diaphragmatic technique using your diaphragm making sure your tummy is coming out when you breathe in relax your tummy muscles let your tummy come out hold that position and then that's when the magic happens. <laughs> so you've got to get this stuff right. Breath control is really important. You know, your breathing technique has to be correct. And some people do this naturally and some people really, really don't. You know, they're breathing so high up up here. There's no support below. Yeah, we've got to have, for me, I totally believe in the belly out breathing technique. You know, you've got to take a breath. You've got to relax those tummy muscles to start to allow the air to come in. Hold that position and then do some breathing exercises. You know, take it easy. Breathe in. Hold it. And out. Really, really gently. And the thing that people trip up on is when they've done that they might get that the expansion the air going in the holding it but then as soon as they breathe out everything goes back in yeah and we don't want that if your tummy if your belly button is sucking inwards you are not going to be controlling your air you can't yeah your diaphragm is not out of the way it's, it's come back up, it needs to be in the place to let you do the work to, for the magic to happen. So, take in the breath. The best breathing exercise is holding the S sound for as long as you can and making sure that your diaphragm so this bit feel your tummy come out on your hands and tss. 
keep it going. I could go for a long time. Keep it very, very quiet. You don't want a because what does that mean? There's a load of air coming out. That's not what we want. We want the smallest amount. And this is going to develop your tummy muscles. It's going to develop all that lovely stuff that we need in our tummy for our diaphragmatic control, for our breath control, for our air control. That is going to help with that. Focus and tuning, intonation, really focusing on the note you're singing. So if you're singing, ah, so if you want to hold a note for a really long time, just like with that breathing exercise we just did, that needs to happen. Then the note needs to be focused and supported and put in a place that is going to enable you to hold it for ages. So if you do a breathy tone, ah, there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to sing that note for a really long time. It's just not going to happen. So you want the placement and a tone that is very kind of pure. You want a pure sound ah, that's held. You're kind of holding it back. Yeah, you're holding all that air back. You're kind of really controlling the note on top of all that that you've just beautifully set up for yourself. Ah. And you've got to focus, 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 focus on that pitch. Don't let it go anywhere else. We don't want to go, ah. we don't want it floating all over the place. You've got to focus that pitch, keep it level, keep the breath control level and it will beautifully go together. Don't change anything about your placement once you've set up the note, because if you change anything here, uh, it's gonna change the sound of the note, it's gonna change it up, yeah? So, breath control, focusing on the pitch, keeping your placement the same, that is how you're going to be able to hold a really long note without it going pitchy and without it going weak and awful and it not working for you. And tip three is practice singing long notes. Yeah, build it up gradually. Time yourself. Right, how long can I hold this note for? You know, four counts, eight counts, 16 counts. Keep adding keep going, keep doing the the better that gets, the better the note's gonna get. Yeah, all this stuff, you gotta do the groundwork. Some people wanna just dive straight in there and that's fine, but you might not, you might have missed a bit. There might be something technically not quite right and that needs sorting out. So there's my three tips for singing a really long note without it going to pop. <laughs> so get practicing and yeah, let me know. Comment in the box below. What do you do to sing a really long note? Tell me, does it work for you? Is it, is it working for you or is it not working for you? Has what I just said, is that working for you? Have you tried it? Get trying it out and let me know how it goes. So if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe and share with your friends and don't forget to sign up for that free training. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe because then I know that you want more videos and I know that you're out there wanting to know more about getting better at singing. So I'll see you next time at Singer's Advice. Yeah.